the sand shot ought to be the easiest shot in golf. You don't even have to hit the ball. To make a greenside bunker shot, the club should graze the top of the sand just behind the ball. Take a long lazy swing, moving your wrists freely, keeping your arms and body relaxed, and making a full follow through. The text recommends impacting the sand about two inches behind the ball. However, coach suggests one inch to allow for more backspin. The wide bottom of the sand wedge is called its bounce. It keeps the club from digging deep into the sand. Touching the club head to the ground or sand before you swing is called grounding the club and is a two-stroke penalty. A short chip or pitch followed by one putt to the hole is called up and down. A shot from a greenside bunker followed by a one putt is called a sand save or sandy. For shorter shots out of the sand, keep the club face more open and take an open stance. For longer bunker shots, keep the club face and stance more squared up and play the ball farther back in your stance. When playing from a fairway bunker, hit the ball first, just like any other shot from the grass. Remember that the ball carries about 10 yards less when played from the sand, so use a less lofted club than you normally would from the same fairway distance. On a bad lie, try switching to a pitching wedge. Swing hard into the sand about 2 inches behind the ball, and expect the ball to come out hot and roll a lot more than normal. Be sure to swing down and make a full follow through. You can hit a fairway wood from the sand if you have a perfect lie and the lip of the bunker is level with the ball. When your ball is on an up or downhill slope, always set your shoulders and hips level with the slope before you swing. Then as you swing, let your club follow the slope of the sand. Don't forget to rake your tracks.